Hello guys and welcome back. Uh, today we're gonna find out uh, how you can upgrade your Lenovo ThinkBook 15 or what you actually can upgrade on it and of course you're gonna see how you can open up this little machine and we're gonna have a closer look on the components as well. Uh, you have to remove all the screws on the back panel. I'm using standard Phillips screwdriver. It's a great one. It comes with 57 different bits. I'm gonna leave the link in the description if you are looking for a similar one and when removing the screws now bear in mind some screws are different sizes so do remember where you took them out so you know where to put them back as well so you won't damage your laptop later on okay once the screws are removed uh, you can kind of you see what I'm doing there lift the back panel be gentle it comes off relatively easy so should be fast enough it took me less than 30 seconds to open that there's a bit of detail there now for you. So it's fresh enough, it's 2020 laptop. It has Core i5 10th generation on it. And as you see, there's only one slot of DDR4 as upgradable. Four gigabyte are on the board already. That's your battery. And that's your battery serial number, of course, as well. If you're looking for a spare part, it's going to be easier for you to find. That's your battery connection. You need to be disconnected before upgrade. That's your RAM. At the moment, there's 8 gigs in it and 4 gigs on the board. So in total, it makes 12 gigabyte of RAM at the moment on this laptop. That's your CPU. As I mentioned before, it's Core i5, 10th generation, good enough, 8 core, I suppose, so. That's your CPU fan there. And that's your 256 gigabyte SSD. We're gonna swap that later on to one terabyte uh, Samsung drive, so just give a few minutes now. And that's your 2.5 inch hard drive bay. I ain't gonna upgrade that at the moment, I'm gonna leave it empty, but option is there. It does work, I can guarantee that, so if you have a spare solid state drive there, one terabyte or plus or minus, it's a great option there for just additional storage, I suppose. There's a closer look now for you as well. That's your battery, of course. Battery life. Now, I got this laptop as a used one, so battery life was about three to four hours, so not bad either. That's your RAM. That's your CPU, of course, under that heatsink. That's your fan, CPU fan. That's your Wi-Fi card. And that's your 2.5 inch hard drive bay. As I said before, it's a great option if you want extra storage with cheaper price. I don't recommend uh, installing operating system on this 2.5 inch drive, so just maybe use it for storage. Okay, we're gonna upgrade RAM now. Before that, just disconnect the battery. You have to pull out that little plastic connection there. It does come out easy enough, so if you have longer nails, it's gonna be obviously easier. Once that's done, you can remove the RAM. As I said, there's eight gigs at the moment there. We're gonna swap that to 16 gigs. Lower speed, of course, because I, I don't have same speed of RAM, but was in it. It's a good, actually, RAM stick. But just, it, there's gonna be more RAM, but with slower speed, I suppose. And one thing I have to say now, when you upgrading RAM, uh, and after upgrading first boot, it's gonna take about a minute, or last time it took me actually two or three minutes to see the screen. It was black, black screen there for two, three minutes, and then it booted up properly. So it probably takes time for a laptop to initiate the new RAM, so be patient. 
and that's your solid state drive 2.5 inch there's nothing wrong with the speed as just uh, need a bit of extra storage so that's the reason why i'm upgrading this little machine there you go that little heat thingy there won't come off really so okay that's your new drive one terabyte samsung i'm gonna leave the link in the description if you are looking for the same one this one was cheap enough now it actually cost me less than 60 dollars i think so it's it's a great buy actually i can recommend them they're fast enough as you see 970 evo plus one terabyte and when you were, because this is longer drive now, you have to remove that little um, screw there that holds your solid state drive in the place. It comes off easy enough now. Just unscrew it and you have to install that into the other hole there. Yeah, there. And that's it just a little don't go too mad now tightening things there you can break stuff easy enough okay that's it slide your drive in close the screw and that's it you've done upgrading only thing now if you are swapping the ssd drive you will have to install reinstall windows again so there's no way around it unless you can clone the system and do whatever magic you can there but i always reinstall windows it's not a big issue 30 minutes and you're up and running plus minus installing the drivers again and what's left to do now is close the back panel again and that's it upgrading done and we're gonna boot into windows now once the back panel is on and i'm gonna show you the specs that it does work there's gonna be 20 gigabyte in total because 16 gigs what we installed plus the four gigabyte what was already on board four gigabyte is not upgradable downgradable you can't remove it it's soldered to motherboard so there's only one slot we installed 16 gigs on it and in total it's gonna be 20 gigabyte of ddr4 ram plus one terabyte ssd okay we're in windows now it, in video it does seem quite fast but it actually took me half an hour to hour to get up and running properly so that's your solid state drive there one terabyte we're gonna go to properties now i'll show you there there's 20 gigs in it no scan there it does work i guarantee that tried myself we're gonna go to the device manager manager now in a second as well so you're gonna see more specs of this laptop I'm gonna I'm not gonna go too detail about it like just to show you that it does work and it's okay and if you are happy with the video do please like it subscribe if you can and you know guys but have a good life bye bye